Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I'm vodcasting for Biolog.ie. I just did a vodcast on mitosis and another one on meiosis. I want to do a little one now on mitosis and meiosis. Let's just look at an overview of the two of those and how they compare. So mitosis versus meiosis. If we look at a human diploid cell, which has 46 chromosomes in it, 2n equals 46. If that cell divides by mitosis, it produces two new cells. And most importantly, the new cells are genetically identical to the original cell. However, if we take a human cell again, another diploid human cell, 46 chromosomes, 2n is 46. If this cell divides by meiosis, there will be four new cells produced. And, most importantly, these new cells will have half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. So here we have two cells produced, here we have four cells produced, and here the new cells are identical, here we have the chromosome number. So a lot of us know this. We know what meiosis is and we know uh, mitosis and we know what meiosis is. And sometimes we get a little bit confused because the words themselves sound very similar. Now, in a multicellular organism, mitosis is used for growth and repair. Meiosis is used for gamete formation. Gametes are sex cells, so meiosis is used for the formation of sex cells or gametes. And the way that I, dif I remember myself the difference between the two is that if you think of mitosis as my toesies, okay, my toes. Gametes are not formed in your toes. You would never produce a sperm cell or an egg cell in your toes. We all know that. So think of mitosis. It's happening in my toes. Therefore, that must be the one for growth and repair, the one that produces identical cells. Meiosis definitely doesn't happen in your toes. So that must be the one that produces gametes, gamete formation. And, and that's just a little tip to help you remember the difference between the two words. You also need to study mitosis in a bit more detail. You need to study the four phases of mitosis. I won't do a vodcast on it. It will be available in my notes and on my revision courses if you choose to have a look at it that way. Thank you.